I mean, you got the single that, let me just say, that single that she got, she. Yeah. <laughs> she gives me life. When I look in her eyes, it's your name and time and she smiles. And her look can be magic. Every day it gets better. Every day it gets better. And I'm like the finest of wine. If you can hear her talk, if you want to listen more. Just the way she walks, you know the queen is well. Sweetest, you know the queen is meekness. She gives sexy more meaning. Body just tries breathing. Oh, I'm in a car. I got serious sex, I'm on. You know, you know how I like to do. You know, so I'm in a car. I hear this song, She, constantly on the radio. And I love that song. Thank you, man. That is a phenomenal song. Thank you. Talk to us about working with Jimmy Jam and Terry yeah. Lewis and the whole sound thing. How how did it all come about? Yeah, the, first of all, she, uh, me and uh, one of my writing partners, Carvin Haggins, okay. um, we did uh, Organic Together and, and much, a lot of different music on the, uh, the first CD, Introducing mm -hmm. Stokely. But uh, the uh, Jimmy Jam, Terry Lewis, connection of course from the beginning you know started off on perspective records right. me and my fellas with mint and uh that's our uh, claim to fame and they've helped us kind of uh realize our potential and still i'm still realizing mine <laughs> um so i have uh my business partner and manager we have a label called blue raft and we did like a you know combination uh joining together with right. Jenna lewis's perspective records mm -hmm. and flight time and we have a distributor that's that's working along with us too so you right. know, it's just, it's great to be back in the saddle again and, and with the family, you know, it's just like right. no time has passed, you know, so now we just, you know, compare notes with everything that's happened in between. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, it's an amazing time that we're having, you know, just, and it's, in, and it's, it's we're true to form because, you know, Jam and Lewis have always been that kind of guerrilla style, yeah. uh, you know, label, you know, just try to figure it out. Not really the norm, right. you know, they, they just, they just, they just carve it out as we as they as they go. So I like that, and that's life. Life is like whatever's in front of you. You just try to, uh, you know, if this door ain't open, you go around the side door. Or they got a trap door. They got, you know what I mean. We try to figure it out as we go, yes. and uh, with all of the um, expertise and experience that they have and uh, relationships, we um, you know we just pull our resources together, and it's just been an amazing time. We just getting started though. Yeah. Started. I, I, yeah, I must agree. You are just getting started because. Let me tell you something. You just had hits after hits with Mint Condition, and you know now to see that it's your second, right? Second uh, solo album. So I think that is phenomenal. I mean, I we, me, my wife, I, you know, I come from New York City, uh, and you know we support. What our borough? What borough you in? What you represent? I represent Harlem. We in Harlem. All right. All right, Harlem World. <laughs> Harlem World in the building. Yes, Harlem World is in the building. But my sister used to live there, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Okay. That's the stuff. That's my grandfather from my grandmother. Well, but yeah, my, my grandparents from New York. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Family out there. So with that being said, what I'm saying is that growing up in the inner city, your music. Mint condition music, constantly, constantly playing, you know, like just to be able to hear this, hear the sound that you have now and transitioning from new edition to the Stokely, your own individual, coming into your own individuality. I think it's phenomenal. It speaks volume to our culture. Our culture, it really does. It speaks value to our culture just to see that you are still able to put out good music.